What you sad and pouting about? What did you what 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 are you upset about? What is you worried about right now? Why you got your arms crossed? Hmm? What's going on? I need you to trust the process, okay, and continue to stand right in your emperor, your empress energy. Okay, I need you to continue to be confident. Okay, we do have success that is coming your way. Trust the process and know that. Okay. You have the two of pentacles that fell out, okay, in the reverse, kind of slanted here, right? You have the ace of wands. So something could be getting nine of cups on the bottom of the deck right now, okay? You could have been having to juggle a lot of things, okay? Or maybe just going back and forth in certain things in your life. Maybe you feel like you've been going through a bunch of ups and downs, okay? A lot of rebirths and depths, okay? Having to go through just a, a strong a strong amount of lessons, right? Right now, okay? Different amount of... How do y'all want me to say this? Different amounts of chaos or shakeups, right? Tower moments, different types of upheavals that's been coming towards your life, okay? This is really what this two of pentacles is giving me right now. However, you have something that's coming in, right? That's allowing you to start something new, go down a new passionate journey, okay? Start some sort of new cycle here. Okay. This could be you following some sort of passion that you have, okay, or passions, right? Let's say, for example, you have a passion for cooking, but you also have a passion for dancing. Let's say you're already dancing, you decide to go ahead and also work towards your cooking. Something like that could be very significant here for you, okay? But again, with you being in this two of pentacles energy in reverse, I feel like it's no longer having to go through a bunch of this this rocky, this I'm hearing the rocky mountains, okay, whatever reason, but um, it's like no more having to go through all these twists and turns and ups and downs and ooh, ooh, like the roller coaster is what that's given. It's like, no, something is firmly being standed down here, okay? It's kind of like somebody's putting their foot down and saying, hey, no, I'm going down this, I'm following this, I'm going to be passionate about this, I'm going to trust this journey, I know for a fact that if I follow this, it's going to lead to this. It's, it's giving that, okay? It's no longer giving okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? It's like really honing in on something here. And, and again, this does bring you this success here, okay? This does bring you this success. This could be something, again, that you were used to doing, okay? Something from the past, like I said. Maybe you did makeup and you gave up makeup and started doing nails, okay? And started doing photography and now you're going to, you know, maybe ask the new down in your boat. Maybe this is somebody going to school here. Okay, maybe this, again, but it's, it's giving, like, a firmness, like, you are saying, hey, this is what I'm doing, and it's going to be that. Like, that's really the way that's coming off right now. What else is here, Spirit spiritual the Collective? You have the Seven of Cups with the Hermit card that's coming, and I think that's interesting, because I just was out in, so I read I just did here for you, Collective. Um, for any personal readings or anything like that, please click the link down below in the description box y'all okay i do not reach out for any personal reasons or anything like that okay um i do feel like maybe there was something that you did not have all the answers to with the seven of cups and the hermit here this, the hermit is a major arcana here this is number seven and number nine maybe you've been seeing a lot of nines okay letting you know that something is ending something is closing out for you you're getting ready to embark on some type of new journey new cycle um again Let's, let's say you do, let's say you have like three jobs, okay, and you're, you're deciding to add a fourth one to it, right, but maybe you had to really spend some time, okay, thinking about these things, or maybe this is you, somebody who had a bunch of different options, right, and you did these different options, and you looked within on these different options, okay, and you really honed in and focused on it, and you know, you kind of became the teacher and the, the master in these energies, however, it's like with the Ace of Wands is just screaming like, I need something new, okay, because there could have been something, right, that you was disappointing about, something that you wanted to come to light out here for you right you could have been holding on to something here okay you could have felt the need to kind of keep yourself guarded or keep yourself protected in a certain manner okay or at least even you protecting your finances here and that's good because you got the ten of cups and then you have judgment here okay but this is just from the bottom of the deck but the seven of cups and the hermit we're going to clarify these two because i'm very curious um now, I do feel like if you are somebody that is having a hard time right now deciding, okay, what to do with this ace of, because again, remember this energy is, is, is timeless, it's fluid, okay, this is a collective read. Many people, you know what I'm saying, tap into the energy, I can pick up this read from somebody way in Norwegian, okay, way in Scandinavia or something like that, okay, the Netherlands, whatever, okay, and, and I do pick up on stuff from people internationally, okay, so seriously, if you 
decide to stop juggling something because you want to start something new, right? You want to follow your passions, okay? You no longer want to be tied to any type of illusions or anything that's kind of keeping you in a certain energy, right? That's also what this is saying right here, too. We're going to see what the results and what everything comes out of this, too. But again, I feel like this is, too, coming out here as a result of some type of maybe sadness or grief that you had, disappointment that you had, okay? It just gives like you had to really go within on something, right? You had to really see the truth within something. You had to really be honest with yourself about some sort of path or journey that you are on. You know what I'm saying? Or what you're doing right now in your life here. Whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you work for somebody else, whether you are in the process of starting your own business right now, whether you are thinking about that, right? Okay, maybe you have options. Maybe you want to do multiple businesses, okay? And you're spending a lot of time going within, really thinking about this. And I keep getting like organizations. So maybe right now you're feeling the need to get organized. Like, I do feel like, uh-uh, that's too many. I do feel like, too, somebody has a lot of tasks, okay? Maybe it's like you have a lot of things to do, right? So you're trying to hone in, okay? And really, like, spend that time with self and go within, okay? Meditation, things like that, okay? And figure out and be able to see through certain illusions, okay? Certain deceptions, right? I feel like maybe you, too, you have a lot of passions and there's a lot of things that you like doing, but there's something that really stands out to you the most because something that, you know, you feel called to do. Right, and this is why that hermit energy could be here, you know, asking you to kind of asking you to really sit with yourself and, and think about this new start here too. Okay, because again, you're seeing through certain illusions. This felt like like this. Okay, this is the King of Swords. I'm trying to see how I want to take that. Because if I take it up like this, that'd be good. If I just flip it up like that, it'd be up right. It's just so crazy. Let's see. Uh the King of Swords. Now I don't want about it on the day. Again, I feel like this is something that you had to make a decision on. I feel like this is why this kind of fell on my leg and it, it came out like it wanted to be in reverse. It's kind of like an either or type of thing. I think that's very interesting when the cards do things like that. Because as I said, depending on how I pick this up, okay, it's on my leg like this, right? If I pick it up like this, this is upright. But if I pick it up from the bottom like this, it's the king of swords, right? How would you naturally pick up a card? You're going to usually pick it up over from the side so it's upright. But I feel like the spirits, that's what spirit is saying. That's what that two of Pinnacle's energy is right now in your life or like you have the decision you have the option to choose where you want to go and maybe what path that you want to start on with this ace of wands okay what passion you want to follow here okay with the ace of wands and the seven of cups right and then the hermit card really spending time thinking about it making sure that this is a lie of what you want to do here because something is swiftly very quickly coming in for you and i do feel like this will help you move into a greater energy of feeling fulfillment wish fulfillment feeling success feeling this happiness here okay within your life now with the king of swords so coming out i feel like again you had to see the truth within something you had to maybe speak up and be honest with yourself about something also here a libra energy you had to find some kind of balance here in your life or you know making sure that what you are signing up for is going to help balance out areas in your life but this is our fifth card out coming out the card of change okay the shift that's happening here again this is some sort of action maybe that you had to take here too okay bottom of the deck again is the king of the knight of wands excuse me with the nine of cups and the ace of swords right so it's like clarity an aha moment something i feel like that is what's going on here Again, this is why the two of pentacles in the reverse. This could have you been you two deciding on a situation. Maybe this is you saying, Oh, well, I don't know if I'm gonna work for Ross. Maybe I'm gonna work for, you know, Didi's or you know, maybe I'm gonna work at this mall. Um, maybe I wanna work at the galleria, maybe I wanna work at the movies, you know, or maybe I wanna start my own business right now, but maybe I'm it's kinda like giving those energies, right? And again, you could have been heavily guarded about these things, right? You could have been really thinking about some of the situations here. The Ten of Swords is here. Again, the same thing with the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. They kind of both feel like the same way. Uh, but the Ten of Swords, I feel like if you've been feeling in an energy of defeat, okay, if you've been feeling like you can't keep going, if you've been feeling like, you know what, like I'm tired, I just couldn't give up, but literally, the death is on the bottom of the deck here too. I'm telling you, this was an ending. This this had to happen. It's kind of coming through to like maybe you was on some sort of path here with this Ace of Wands, right? But it was kind of keeping you in certain illusions. It was kind of keeping you, you know, in a certain mental fog that was stopping and not allowing movement to come in for you. Again, the Hermit energy, right? The hermit, when you're in Hermit, you're, you're still, right? You're just to yourself. You're by yourself. You may go to do the same routines every day, okay? You're in meditation. You're in peace. You're in you're in isolation. It's like that energy right there, okay? Cancerian energy, uh, Virgo energy is really what this gives me, but it gives me the Cancer because the, the Hermit Crab, right? So again, the Ten of Swords. You 
feeling like you were defeated. You feeling like you couldn't keep going. You feeling like, oh my gosh, will this ever be over? I don't know if I can make it. You know, feeling stabbed in the back. Maybe by, maybe by life. Maybe by people that you trusted. Maybe by your entire journey. Maybe you feel like, you know, this is a whole game. Whatever the case may have been, you start may have thinking or feeling certain ways about certain things here. But I feel like the King of Swords, this was you having to balance that, you know, that masculine air sign energy inside of yourself and saying, hey, Okay, let's let's do what we gotta do, or let's realize this, or let's start down this because you know I'm I'm tired of feeling like this. Okay, and then the ten of swords, so endings, certain endings, certain endings. Maybe it's a new beginning, but it ends so quickly. Again, the death card here, major arcana, followed by another major arcana with the emperor card in the bottom of the deck. There, this ending had to happen to lead you into this boss emperor empress energy, but it's more so emperor. Okay, being in your um, confidence, okay, being secure within yourself, okay, starting new journeys and new cycles for yourself, okay, starting, uh, this could be, you again, starting up new businesses, having new ideas, okay, sitting on your throne, again, heavy confidence energy is standing here, being a boss, being a leader, and representing and standing in that energy here, again, this is what allowed this, this movement, this quick, this quick communication to come charging forth towards you, like the, the Knight of Swords, it's not slow moving, this is quick movement energy here, this is having to come towards you, this is like martial energy here, your martial energy could be significant, okay, Okay, um, and, and this what comes in is the Ace of Pentacles, and then again you have this higher fence. So it's like you move forward towards them, and then you have the Ten of Wands, or so Ten can be very significant, right? Okay, but I feel like you've been working on yourself with the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on these boundaries. You've been working on these things that you've been holding on to. Okay, you've been working on these limitations, this lack, this this what is the word I'm looking for? This weight that you may carry on your shoulder, okay. These burdens, it's like you've been really working on that, sitting with yourself doing that again. Like I said, the hermit is here, okay. So, with the Knight of Swords again, the Emperor and the Death Cards on the bottom of the deck from the Ten of Swords, this to me, this is like a double ending. This is like this is over. You feeling like this, okay, or you again, as a result of you feeling in this energy, this, this Ten of Swords energy, you see how I, I literally, I, me doing that, literally bent my car back. And so it's like, no, like you're tired of feeling, you know, bent over. Or maybe you this is you having to bend over backwards. Maybe this is you just having to do things and it's leaving you depleted. It's leaving you drained. It's making you feel like, ugh, I can't keep going. That's over. That's being put to an end. And I'm going to take the Ten of Swords with the Death card here. I'm going to take this Death card from the bottom of the deck. And I should take this Emperor too, but I feel like this is Spirit saying, even if this is something for you with business, um, work, school, career, family, whatever it is, something, something is being closed off, something has ended. The death card is a signification of ending, but it's also a new beginning, right? So something that is starting up here for you. And again, this could be something to do with a job, something to do with career as well here. Okay, now we have the moon coming out next after the death card, well, after the ten of swords, really. I'm going to put that uh, death card here with that. With that ten of swords like this. We have the moon, the queen of cups here. Another major arcana coming through. So far we have four. Is that four? One, two, three. We have three of those on the map right now. This is too many, but we have the tower, the three of wands, the rest. Yeah, that's too many cards, y'all. <laughs> Give me more, please, after the moon. What is after this moon energy here? And then we're going to get some clarifiers, y'all. Threes and eights can be very significant. The number 11 could be very significant. Scorpio energy. With the Ace of Cups is here. After the moon. Let me keep pulling y'all and then I'm going to read this some more. Because I feel like the death card is signifying right whatever... Whatever this is that you had to see or whatever this is that you're seeing through a balanced mindset, right? It may be revealing certain things, right? This may be something that you had to use your intuition on, your psychic abilities. Maybe your psychic just told you this, okay? Clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, whatever the case may be for you here. Um, I do, so like this could also be for somebody something that is hidden because this is coming out underneath the Ace of Wands. So this new journey that you're embarking on, right? Maybe there are some things that are awaiting you, right? There's some excitement. I don't just read the moon card as like, oh, it's something hidden. It's secret. It's, you know, 
lies you know what i'm saying because the way this is coming out in this spread is not like that okay this this could be you even to somebody that is somebody that looks at the moon here we have dogs here that's interesting because dogs came out in the first read that i did for you collective here so you may need to go back and watch that read as well here because this major arcana is like that barking it's like something is alerting you to start down this new path this new journey something that's helping something that's guiding you or, or helping you in that direction here especially with the two of pentacles in reverse the way these boats in this water is here right but again this is in reverse so of course you can't ride on the water like that right so it's like no more no longer no longer having to yeah you know go in this backwards or opposite direction right again the door open a new door being open for you because somebody came in the house but i didn't expect the door to open so but again though the door opened there the door opened got open here too so doors are opening right again the ace of wands this could have even been you thinking somebody somebody was cheating, somebody was juggling a situation, somebody was lying, somebody was, you know, being manipulative or being secretive behind the scenes. They don't give me that too much, but even, even a hint of that could be in your energy, right? This could be anybody in your family. Again, judgment is here too, okay? Um, but with the moon, the death card, the moon, and the ace of cups, right? It's like whatever this is that ends for you. And whatever comes to light, again, this could be a secret that comes to light, too. Maybe this is about how somebody feels for you, because after the moon here, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about new love. This is some sort of new beginning that's going to be helping you feel overflowing, helping you feel emotionally fulfilled in your life, okay? Helping you feel, you know, a, 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 like a strong bit of happiness. This could be pregnancy for somebody. This could be a new baby coming in your life again. Maybe this is a secret that you found out, right, that you were, you know, pregnant. So maybe this is, you know, helps something to do with a connection of yours to it, put something to end. It allows you guys to go through in the beginning but whatever this is this ten of swords energy or you feeling in this energy right or something that is kind of being closed out here for you it's really it's really like spirit is keep telling me that it's ended because with the death in the moon card the moon is the night energy right it's like the shadow it's like what's hidden so again it's like if anything was hidden even if it's, this is you had to speak your truth about something maybe how you was feeling about something maybe you had to work on yourself to be able to even say these things right okay this could be you speaking about you know your passions in your life okay and the different passions that you have too you could have even spoke on that because with the hermit energy here uh the virgo energy the mercurial energy is what that is especially with the king of swords it's all this this swords energy the ten of swords and the king of swords is air sign energy gemini libra aquarius here but this king of swords is giving you more so librian energy here okay so I, I just keep feeling like there's there was some sort of need for some sort of balance here in your life. Again, this was our fifth card here. So this was that that card of change. Meaning to see something from a logical perspective. Meaning to see it from an avenue of, hey, this is going to allow me to do this. This is going to help me with this. This is going to bring forth this instead of in a in a certain way that was keeping you trapped, right? In the illusion or energy. That's that's how this is coming through to. You know, instead of you keeping yourself in this defeat energy. Okay, so like things aren't happening, things aren't moving for you. With the moon card though, um, and then again the ace of cups, I do feel like this could be somebody confirming, like my head is itching, this could be somebody communicating to you some feelings they have for you, okay? Maybe this is somebody revealing some sort of secret. Maybe this could also be somebody, um, you know, that it's like somebody is sharing some sort of news or something is being put to an end to allow something to come to the light, to allow this new beginning to come forth here. And the Six of Cups, right, you could have memories about this, right? Maybe this is past life memories that's coming to you. Maybe you keep feeling something. Maybe there are certain dreams, right, that you're having here. Okay, because the Ace of Cups and then the Six of Cups, that literally would give us Seven of Cups, essentially, and then the Seven of Cups is right here. So, again, certain sights, certain insights, and something seeing certain things, right, up in the clouds, right? Illusions could be very significant dreamy like energy could be very significant or your dreams like you could be having dreams about this because again the ace of cups is going to be our seven of cups here you could be having dreams about this new romantic uh, venture this new romantic situation or maybe this is something that you dream about okay or they, you could you can dream about this person too as well maybe you spent a lot of time in hermit mode over this person over this situation over these people over this place that could be very key here too for somebody but this death in this moon card is just really heavily screaming. I just feel like whatever was hidden, like it's like whatever was done in the dark is coming to the light. And this is why you have this, this outpour that's getting ready to come in for you. It's given like people are in the background, right, having to scraggle, trying to put things up or trying to put things like hide things or something like that, right, with the second cup in the hermit. <laughs> but I feel like with this, with the king of swords here, 
it's like you see through something. Wait till we get these damn clarifiers. You see through something, and that's what's allowing like right, this ten of swords and the death part, that's what's allowing kind of this this ending or this maybe making you feel like you're defeated because like I know these things but nothing is happening, right? Maybe you feel like you're still a secret or it's hidden. Either way it go, whatever is hidden, whatever secret is in the light, whatever has been in the dark, whatever was done behind the scenes, okay, whatever is hiding behind the shadows, this could be your intuition telling you or hitting you, hey, this is gonna happen for you, whatever it is, it is happening because it's bringing in an ace of cups here. I always like to remind people to appreciate the light in the dark because you gotta remember that the dark is what gave you to the is what led to the light and vice versa. Okay, that's any game, and most people, you know, love that symbol, but don't really understand what it means, and don't actually live by and apply it in life. If more people apply the yin yang energy in life, life would really be a balanced energy, and life would be so much different. Again, this white and black is heavily standing out right now. The death card is heavily screaming. Again, Scorpio energy, your Scorpio placement could be very significant, especially with the damn Scorpio right here in the moon card. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Two of Cups. So. For somebody this could be an offer get it to the pinnacles i'm telling you mm. okay so ace of cups and the six of cups i feel like you had to really think about something from the past maybe something that you did in the past it could be anything this could be something that you did at school this could be a past memory that you did with my this could be past trauma that you have um, this could be healing that you've gone on. This could be some type of old story. It's like something kind of going around. And again, this could also be some sort of offer that could to be coming in here for you. Um, this offer, I feel like it could be something to do with your stability, your security here in your life here. Okay, because the, the, the four of cups, it's like four of them are down the ground, but one is behind and one is being offered to that person. It's like that six cup is being offered. So you hear how this sound is going off too? Your sixth sense could also be very significant. Again, the moon card here. So your intuition and instincts, right, could really be highlighting, highlighting something towards you. This, the moon card is number 18, right? The six of cups is number six, okay? Six, 12, 18 is three times. The, the moon is the first card, the ace of cups is the second card, the tenth of cups is the third card. Very interesting in my opinion. Um, again, with the judgment here though, right? You could have had to see something or see something for the way it was. Some sort of truth could have come to light here. You could have had to make a decision about something, about some sort of situation, about some sort of connection and offer, maybe a love situation, whatever it, wherever it is. But again, the high priestess is showing up here too. The queen of swords is showing up. The knight of swords is showing up. The queen of wands is showing up. It's not a king queen energy. It's it's like you staying in this higher energy that you know you are. Okay, and this I feel like is what's manifesting, or this is what's bringing something back around here for you. Right? This could even be some new healing that is going on here in your life, or maybe a new love situation that's helping you heal in a certain way too. That could be very significant. Maybe this is you having memories about you know certain new beginnings that you had when you had kids. Maybe for pregnancy. Maybe you had a new relationship. Maybe this was marriage. Maybe this was a kid. You know, something like that could be key to. There's too many. Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then the Five of Wands. Wow. Somebody's in heavy conflict about something. Maybe something that you have going on in your life, okay? Again, <laughs> exactly. Somebody's in your business, but something to do with your business could be very significant. Somebody could be in their own type of like chaos and confusion right now. Literally, we have the fucking Tower with the Three of Wands coming out um, after this. So, with the Tower and the Three of Wands, after the Six of Cups and the Three of Wands, okay? I feel like whatever this is that comes back around, it, it causes some sort of upheaval in your life. It causes some sort of shake up. It causes some sort of shift, some sort of destruction, some sort of ending to take place in your life. But it also allows for you to enter into a new beginning, right? And this three of wands, like you are waiting for this, something for things to change for you, okay? Let's say, for example, um, you start going to school, right, for a certain certification, okay? But, you know, it's going to take you maybe three weeks to get it, or maybe it's going to take you, just for example, y'all, maybe it's going to take you three months to get it, okay? Because they do have programs like that out here, okay? Um, it could be something like that for you, but it's like whatever that is, I feel like it heavily leads something greater for you. Okay, look, the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, literally. Something that she was working on, something that she spent a lot of time on, something that she was waiting to grow, something that she was waiting to change, it actually becomes more stable. It's like it comes, becomes more nurturing. It becomes more loving here. And again, this is Earth sign energy. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, again, this could have been some sort of heartbreak. This could have been some sort of disappointment, sadness, grief, anxiety. The three of you, know, especially with the three of swords and the page of swords and then the ace of pentacles, right? 
So maybe maybe you didn't feel secure in something. Maybe you didn't feel stable in something in your life, a situation, a relationship, a connection, whatever it is here. Okay, but let's get our clarifies. We're already at 24 minutes. Let's get the clarifies here. Um, the Tower and the Three of Wands. Hold on. Give me one more after this, please, after the Tower and the Three of Wands in this spread. The Five of Swords playing the reverse again. This came out in that first read, too. The Knight of Swords here. You have the Queen of Wands with the Two of Cups. So I feel like this is you standing in your passions, right? This is you staying in this loving, beautiful energy that you're in, right? You're not allowing something, right, to put you in this Five of Swords energy. Because this came out in the reverse. So I feel like, again, it's like something has been shifted some sort of way of looking at something some sort of way of moving whether this is you the other person whether this is people at your job people in your environment whatever it is it's like somebody is no longer looking at it like this somebody is looking at it like this now that's how that's really more so how it's coming off here okay um but you have the queen of wands and then you have the two of cups coming out after this five of swords in reverse so i feel like spirit is sending you to stand strong about something yet you're resistant and worried but look the six of wands and then the hierophant. It's like you will have this victory. You will have this success that you want in this situation and this, you know, predicament, whatever it is. I feel like this offer is going to come in for you even though you're worried that it's not going to happen. You could be in your head. You could maybe think about this person when you go to sleep. Maybe vice versa. They could be thinking about you a lot, okay? You could be kind of restless. You're trying to figure things out, but there is a victory coming in here. There is a recognition. This person could recognize you for who, for who you are. Okay, you have the hierophant, so tradition, uh, traditions are coming out in marriage, right? Maybe this is you guys following something or breaking traditions, too, could be very significant with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. And then you have the Six of Swords, so you guys move on to something better here. Okay, the Five of Cups is here. What's underneath the Five of Cups? But then there's the Knight of Cups, and then the Four of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, y'all just really have to trust right now um in whatever dynamic this is going on for you in your life because this could be applying to different things for you this don't just have to be one thing okay for you like again let's say for example you are very passionate about something maybe you do have a lot of love for somebody or for something here in your life you need to stay in that queen of wands energy because i feel like it does bring in that you and it brings in that offer here for you right you are a very beautiful person fire sign energy you could have that somewhere in your big three leo Aries, sagittarius okay but it's like the five of swords. The five of swords is in the reverse. And he's looking, because if he was upright, he was looking this way, the three of wands. But he's looking at the queen of wands with him being in the reverse here. Okay? So it's like, I feel like whatever somebody maybe was trying to be doing or something that was going to kind of say, again, like manipulation, secrecy, stealing, theft, anything like that. It's like that it, it's been blocked. It, it can't even happen. It can't even come through. Okay? Tell us about the moon here, please. What's hidden? Tell us about the moon. The moon is the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, this this is something to do with your money, baby. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is clarifying the moon. And again, this is also also time to this new start here, right? So maybe this is something that you are. Maybe you're waiting for the type of lane to come in. Maybe there's some hidden money of yours that's supposed to come in. Okay, I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, with him being like this, I feel like this is more so slow. It's not like it's quickly coming in like the Knight of Swords, right? That communication. I feel like it's kind of slowly making its way towards you. Okay, this could even be you like slowly like making your way up to some sort of stability, some sort of stableness in your life. But I feel like your intuition is telling you, right, that this is coming in here for you, or that it's there and it, that it's like present that it's in your energy right maybe this is tied to an inheritance maybe this is tied to you know stolen whatever maybe this is tied to like a 401k maybe this is the lottery for somebody um you know it doesn't necessarily have to be something big money again this could be something that comes in to make you feel more stable in your life this could also be some sort of communication that comes in but i feel like with the high priestess here continue to trust your intuition because your intuition is telling you about this situation here i do feel like when this comes in though you're going to have to move strategically but by the top of the deck here is the sun card so that happiness is it's like it's literally just there it's it's all it's it's like it's the next page that's waiting to be turned tell me about the ace of cups i just heard the lovers in my head which would be crazy if they came out but the star is what comes out here but for somebody this could be about love for you again the ace of cups represents new love but the star comes out here we have the star clarifying the ace of cups so i'm telling you this new beginning that is starting for you this new cycle, this new emotional fulfillment. It's like being overjoyed, being just really happy. 
I feel like it really helps you be able to go towards some sort of dreams that you have in your life, okay? Some sort of hopes that you had, some sort of aspirations that you had, okay? The number eight could also be very significant because there's eight stars on here. There's one big yellow star, but there's, you know, seven other white stars. And again, it's like kind of just taking a dip. A wishing well could be very significant. That could be something that you have tied to your life. Again, past life energy. The seven of cups maybe something that you dreamed that maybe you have a lot of dreams of you doing that. Maybe you have a lot of memories too, right? Of you going to wishing wells and wishing certain things are hoping and dreaming certain things with the star energy here coming out. Check your Aquarius placement. Whatever your Aquarius placement is at, this is what could be this new beginning is talking about here for your life. The third house, this could be communication. Maybe something that maybe something that you're waiting on to come through with a sibling or bail yours could be significant. Um Something to do with travel, okay? It could be significant for somebody to like moving around, okay? Commerce and exchange, the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. Big, 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 big money, okay? Big success, big stability, big security, like large amounts of it, okay? Mastering that energy. Um, this also could be for somebody here, like for example, if this is in your fifth house, maybe you're having hopes and wishes of, you know, getting pregnant, something like that could be significant. This could be coming in here for you, okay? If this is in your 11th house, maybe there's something that you're really good at doing or making or innovating, okay? But it's like you have to really spend time and honing in on yourself um, and, you know, kind of clearing out any type of distraction that you had, the way you can have this, and this is what's coming in here for you. It's coming in, though, and again, it, whatever, the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles or something, you spend some time on this. You really work hard on this or work towards this. Again, this could be you building your own self up towards certain avenues, certain opportunities to come towards you, okay? Tell me about the Six of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. It hit my leg. I don't feel like I should take these in the reverse. Um, you have the Nine of Cups, the Fool, and the Eight of Wands. I don't feel like those would come out in the reverse, but they hit my leg, you I, I don't feel confident to take those in the reverse. I feel like this is supposed to be an upright. Um, we have the Fool, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So, exactly. Whatever this is from the past that you are going towards, that you're thinking about, or that you're embarking on, or that you're kind of meditating about, or you're thinking about doing, or going towards, I feel like you should. Because the Fool, right, it's like you took a leap of faith. Now, in the reverse, you could have been somebody that already took this leap of faith. Maybe you feel like this success won't happen, or maybe you, at a, you know, kind of in your life right now, you haven't been very, feeling very successful. You haven't been, been feeling very to feel very pleased in your life here, I'm channeling y'all. Um, but it's like you should because you do have this coming in for you. This news is coming in. This travel, this movement, this quick shift change is happening here for you. Again, fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, and this is Sagittarius energy, if I'm not mistaken. So a new journey is starting for you. Something quickly is coming for you. Now, for some of y'all, you may need to start a new legal faith. You may need to jump into something that is really going to help you feel fulfilled. That's going to bring you happiness. That's going to bring you peace, contentment, and joy. Okay? That way, this new, this new this can come towards you and all three of these clarified the six of cups okay so again like i said whatever this is you're thinking about you could be thinking about embarking on something you could have already taken a leap you could have already taken a jump too that's why this is coming in here for you with the eight of wands right the tower what is the tower about and i feel like this could be too this change that's happening in your life the tower is the, the strength card so you have a major arcana clarifying a major arcana and this is number eight and this is number 16 right so that, that both of those, that's two, right? Eight and eight is 16. That's just double eight energy that's here. So I feel like there's a heavy transformation if that's going on on two people's sides, right? Maybe you and somebody else or you and something else in a situation, work, whatever the case may be. I feel like the tower here, though, that's coming out because the strength part here is Leo energy. This could be about a Leo in your life. This could be some sort of change, some sort of shift that happened, right? Again, with three of wands, this could be you kind of awaiting on some sort of shift or change that happened in the dynamic here. But I feel like with the tower showing up, something does come in here. Um, again, like you could also be needing to use your patience for this dynamic for this situation. Okay, to tap more into your confidence, into your inner strength that you have within yourself, right? Or this could have been at a time, right, of you being so strong towards something also, right? It, it, it's what led to that tower moment, okay? Because you was waiting on certain things, okay? You could be an actor, you could do hair, maybe something happened at her hair business for you, maybe something happened in theater and the arts, okay? This could be something to do with children, if you want the kids at a daycare, there could be some sort of shake up in that, right? Maybe you lost your job at a daycare and now you're waiting, right, to talk with you. That could also be key for some of y'all here. Hold on, because I didn't get to say what I wanted. The little fortune showing up on the bottom of the deck here. I just want to see what else I want to clarify. What is the three of wands about? Then I'm going to close out because I'm already at 33 minutes, y'all. What is the three of wands about? Ah, 
Oh, I hate when my first do that. That's why I don't shift it like that. Hold on. That's why I do not like to shift it like that. The Wheel of Fortune showed up again, so that's really fake because the Wheel of Fortune is all about fake this and things that are meant to happen. This was meant to happen. Y'all seen me show y'all the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So, again, the Three of Wands you're waiting on something, you're waiting on something to come in, you're waiting on some type of offer to come in to shift your life, whatever this offer though that it is that you're waiting to come in. I feel like it is a part of your destiny, it is something that allows or brings for some sort of movement here in your life. Here, uh, this could be again, even fortune. Like I said, this King of this, this King of Cups, Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups that's coming in. I feel like whatever this love or whatever this emotion, whatever this energy in motion is, right, emotions, whatever this feeling, whatever this is that you're kind of waiting on, right, it's like it will come in, but it's coming in on divine timing because, again, this is fate here. It's not in the reverse, this, but this is a part of the destiny. So the three of wands, whatever this is that you're waiting for, the nine of cups and the four of pentacles, with the ten of cups, and then I see the three of cups too popping out. And then the two of cups is the two of wands, the magician, and the three of cups. So I feel like this is something to do with the romantic situation for somebody. This could be love, marriage. Somebody could be waiting on somebody to pop the damn question. Okay, maybe somebody's waiting on somebody to you know make a movement into something, making some sort of change here within your life here. Maybe somebody is very grounded, very stuck, very kind of stubborn in a certain situation too. That could be very significant. And the ten of cups is still showing up. So regardless of what what it looks like now. This love, this marriage, this happiness, this fulfillment, this success will come in before you. Two of Wands, make a decision. The Three of Cups, there's the Empress. Uh, Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. Page of Swords to the Six of Wands. The Hierophant to the Devil to the Page of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. What is the overall, uh, to close off this ring spirit, what is the advice in regards to all of this? Is there anything else that you want to say about this situation? the queen of pentacles so i do feel like there's time to nourish and nurture yourself okay um needing to tap more into your greens right your veggies things like that the lovers are showing up here the ten of wands is showing up here i see that the, the chariot is still not the nine of swords the seven of wands and the chariot so i feel like you need to continue to stand your ground upon something okay for some of y'all you may need to let go of something that you've been holding on to in a connection this could be some certain ways of moving in the connection certain ways of seeing things in the connection could be very significant certain ways of um going about certain things because the lovers here is gemini energy maybe this is you you need to see things from another way. The two birds are just two here too. Um, the way you, the way this can help you release this burden with inside of yourself, because it's like once you release this burden, this will bring this swift communication coming in right now. With a seven of wands showing up, I feel like you've been having to protect yourself. Maybe this is you protecting yourself from certain thoughts, certain worries, certain thoughts. This could be other people in the energy too that you've just been trying to fight off. Okay, this could be um, what am I? What is one looking for? Black magic. Okay, negativity spells. If you are somebody that deals with any of that, please come see me for Reiki energy healing. I do not play, and we definitely take care of that energy over here on my way. Okay, that's the mosquito, so I'm definitely gonna get ready to go in. Um, <laughs> but it's like once you you. you being in this energy and protecting yourself and sending your guard, right? This could even be you feeling like certain things are being thrown towards you, you're testing you, or you know, you're seeing certain things to see if you're going to look at it in a certain dynamic, right? But I feel like you're standing your ground, you're protecting yourself, you're realizing your strength, okay? You're being confident in yourself, you're not putting up with no shit, okay? This is what allows this movement to come in and also this offer to come in here for you, okay? Now, again, heartbreak disappointment could have been around here but you trusted your intuition right so things are being balanced out for you have divine justice in the six of pentacles there's two scales that are there things are being balanced out for you i feel like in a in the in the higher room but also down here in the physical in the 3d here 3d 5d is what this is giving me here um okay the number 611 could be significant or six and ones can be very significant right i feel like the divine had to come in and intervene with this situation this person could want to give something to you okay or something could be coming in here for you again whether this is a romantic situation whether this is work whether this is something to do with your business whatever it is something does come in here for you i feel like you have two offers that are showing up here okay that allows you to be able to walk away towards something and actually move into that happiness okay uh-uh you know get the back on see so, yeah uh-uh so, okay, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. This is a nice long read for y'all. Thank you for those who do watch the read and, you know, um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I do appreciate y'all sincerely. Thank you for tapping in with your girl. If you'd like a personal in-depth reading of any type, we do have a full moon in Capricorn getting ready to come up. So if you'd like to go ahead and get ahead of the crowd in that read, okay, go ahead and check that out, too. The description box below, y'all. Again, I have even number hats. Thank you for those who shop my TikTok shop. 
Um, a lot of stuff that I have on is from TikTok shop here, okay? So you guys check it out. If you are somebody that wears glasses, you want some new frames or you need some new glasses, okay? You can get it with my discount code, okay? You can get uh, a good percentage off of your uh, frames, okay? So I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out that link in the bio, the link in the description box that I have. The happy this card is showing up here, okay? Um, continue to trust the process by trusting yourself, trust your journey, and trust how far you've come and everything that you've been doing, okay? And see where it's leading you to. I do feel like that read was a very nice, deep, in-depth read. So if there's anything that you have been, again, awaiting, something that you've been hoping and wishing for and journeying for, something that you've been wanting to come in, or maybe something that you've been wanting to be revealed to you, it's, it's definitely coming in, especially if it's to do with the romantic situation for you. Um, but I do feel like there's some sort of positive movement that is moving in your life. There's something heavy to do here with your destiny, with your fate, okay, with um, divine karma and divine timing here that is at play, okay? So again, trust the process, okay, because if it's, you know, trust the process, y'all, I appreciate y'all. I'm sending y'all much love and light. Check out your girl articles, okay? Peace and love to y'all.